Hi. You guys were really into those uh, Fizzbones toes, weren't you? All right, tag along and I'll show you how I set it up. Okay, here we are in Unity. I have this old Hyenid project open that hasn't been converted to Fizzbones. So step one, if your avatar does not use Fizzbones, click your avatar. Under VR chat SDK, go into Utilities, Convert Dynamic Bones to Fizzbones, and click Proceed. Now your old script's out and the new script's in. This avatar already has a floor collider in the form of the sphere, but yours may not. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that so I can show you how to add it. Okay, there we go. Your avatar looks something like this. Select armature, hit add component, type VRC to filter out all the stuff we can't use. Uh, look for VRC face bones collider. That'll make a collider for the floor, but it doesn't look quite like a floor. So under shape type, select plane, another rotation, type of 90 degrees. There's our floor. Step two, find where the toes live on your armature. Depending on how your rig is set up, you might be able to get away just adding a script per toe root bone. But if you need to tweak the individual toes, uh, that's not gonna work. So I I'm gonna show you how to do it one by one. Select a toe, hit add component, find VRC fizz bone. It doesn't show up. So let's give it a bit of an endpoint position. You need to do that if the bone, you can see a little white line there. Um, that shows us how long, how long the bone is. If, if the bone chain is only one bone, it needs a position, otherwise it doesn't exist. And then find radius and we'll add a little bit of thickness to it as well. Tweak these values until the bone is about the size of the object you were trying to put it on. This is about the same size and shape of the toe. Close as we can get. Okay. Now, um, we're going to want pull to be a little bit higher because that's basically the springiness of the joint. Uh, immobile needs to be one because otherwise it responds to movement instead of just collisions. Under limit type, go ahead and select hinge. You can use the others if you want, but hinge is less resource intensive and honestly is easier to make look better when it comes to just paw on floor. Um, I'm going to put the max angle at about 90 degrees. You don't have to be too conservative with that. Allow collision should be on, of course. Under colliders, you're going to want to select size one. This, confusingly enough, is a list. The list is one entry, hence size one. Find armature, drag it into that list where it says none currently. That will basically load the bone to say, hey, you are looking for collisions from that plane that we added before. And that's basically the whole process. Now I'm going to uncheck allow grabbing and posing because I don't want people grabbing my toes. Maybe you're into that. I don't know. And then um, basically to do this for each toe, you just select these three dots up here, copy component, select the next toe, add component, near safe as bone, click those three dots again, paste component values. And that'll paste the values from the previous bone into this one. And you just repeat that for all of the toes that you've got. Now, one weird oddity about the hyenid specifically is that the bones seem to be rotated. So I'm gonna just, this is why I need to be able to tweak each individual bone on the instead of just the foot as a whole. Because I need to be able to tweak the roll to make sure that they actually rotate up and down. You might not need to do this on your avatar. In the end, your foot should look something like this. You have a bone per toe. You have an angle around which they can rotate and they're set to respond to this plane. If the plane isn't there, that means you've missed that part. Um, that should basically be it. So let's hit play, go back into scene, grab your avatar by the hips and give it a little shake and see if the bones respond. They do indeed. You see, as soon as they come below that certain point, they rotate up to try to get out of the way of it. And it will look something like that when it hits the ground. So depending on how you want this to look again, like maybe these toes don't lift quite early enough, uh, you might want to go in and uh, increase the endpoint position to make them longer, to make them spring up. And there is one more tweak you might have to do depending on how the rig is set up. Under armature, let me go into orthographic side view here. It's possible to change the exact position of the collider plane uh, along the z-axis now because we rotated it. I had one avatar where the toe bones started all the way up here and were angled downward and I had to lift this up to about 0 0.04 or so. 0, 0, 004 even, uh, to make sure that as soon as I started rotating the foot, it started lifting up the toes. So that's a tweak you might have to do depending on how your avatar is set up. Other than that, you follow those steps and then again, just copy the components over to the next foot, repeat that process until your toes are all boned up and uh, that's it. Now you have an avatar whose toes will bend when they meet the ground.